Hi, I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe, and I'm here today with my partner Chris Jackson of Terrafilm Engineered Filaments. We're here today to talk to you about the 3D Universe Terrafilm PLA TPU blend material. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about this material. Well, you know, Jeremy, this is one of our, one of our most versatile materials, and we're so proud of it. This is material that has been tested in a variety of applications and has just performed well. Um, it offers some very unique uh, characteristics uh, that you don't get in other materials. This has a very smooth and bright finish. It's kind of silky because of the urethane that's, yeah. you know, the TPU that's in it. it. It offers some really great properties to print with that you wouldn't necessarily consider in other places. It's been used in uh, large equipment uh, manufacturers in terms of fixturing. Those fixtures have been exposed to weights for heavy pistons in an oil bath that's been at 100 degrees C for you know 24, 48 hours and it's performed beautifully. Um, those are big fixtures too. The prints were uh, uh, 36 hours long. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a big fixture. The other thing it's been used for is it's gone up into the stratosphere. Oh, cool. Um, we, we worked with a, uh, a college uh, that was part of a space consortium. We actually launched this uh, up into the stratosphere uh, in a box that was holding uh, different plastic uh, slides for UV comparison. And uh, so this was launched in a balloon up to 100,000 feet. It set up there in the atmosphere for about four hours and then uh, was uh, taken back to Earth. Uh, it was wrapped in some about three quarter inch to one inch uh, uh, foam, the, mm. but absolutely zero cracking, no issues whatsoever with the material. Everything inside it held uh, very well, and uh, we're so proud of it. I mean, it's just been used everywhere, and and, and uh, it is it, so versatile. Excellent. So I'm hearing a lot of interesting qualities. I hear uh, strength. Uh, heat resistance, UV resistance, it sounds like. Yes. A lot of interesting properties. And then, of course, because of the uh, PLA component, you get those printability benefits like all of the other PLA blends. Correct. Excellent. Correct. And then from a property standpoint, um, this is one step up where we talked about different materials. You know, you're talking about um, IZOD impact here, almost double of what regular PLA is 50% more than the PLA ABS. So IZOT impact is uh, you know, just much higher. Uh, from a, an elongation at break, it's about like the PLA TPE. It's about 60 to 80%. So in other words, you're getting a little bit of elongation, a little bit of softness, but you're getting an awful lot of strength with the material. And then when you think about uh, deflection temperature, and this is the beautiful thing, is that the deflection temperature we know for a fact is, uh, you know, 80, 75 C is starts to deflect some. But like I said before, we've run this in, in oil baths that have been subjected to 100 degrees C and, and still haven't seen any sort of part warpage. Now the part was big and, mm -hmm. and solid. Uh, so in thinner wall applications, you know, you're going to be down in the 75 degrees C. But, you know, it's just been so cool because of that. And, and, and that particular fixture is called, we call it the blue monster because <laughs> it's a big fixture. But, um, and, you know, you can see it comes out really well in the blue. It uh, does. It's a beautiful color. And I, like you said, it has this wonderful silky finish that I just love. It really has a beautiful, attractive uh, surface finish that I, I think is a, a really nice benefit of this material. And as you said, the, 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 the give, compared to a normal PLA part, you know, this would typically just break if this was normal PLA. Right. But because of that TPU, you have some really nice resilience and, and flex that, that you can withstand. So it's not, it's not super flexible like just a pure TPU. You still have some of that rigidity, right? But right. You have the, the balance between the two, I guess. You have a nice balance. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the other thing that comes uh, with this, I think, is that TPU gives it some um, higher melt flow. So mm. when it's coming out of your, your extruder, it's gonna be layered um, much better than some other materials. So you know, you're talking about layer strength and that kind of stuff. It gives you a lot of performance in that, in that, in that perspective. We find it best for you know, uh, 
parts, industrial kind of parts that need strength, but has to have a little bit of give with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's probably, you know, you, I think you could use it for some thinner walled parts if, if you're looking for that, but it's been used more uh, in, in higher temperatures and big stuff, um, in, in, you know, more block oriented kind of designs. The other thing is, uh, when I talked about the space uh, setup, that was a pretty thin walled part. That was about five mil slick. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the box was about five mils thick, and it was uh, you know four by you know it's just a cube. Yeah, yeah. So it's well, it's kind of like one of these the test prints that I did here. This is a, a part of a motor mount for an actually a, for a three D printer component, and the uh, the center column here has is an opening, so there's a, a little bit of give in that, and it seemed like that might be a good example of the sort of thing you'd print with a material like this. Yeah, and, and we have been uh, tinkering around with our own printer here, um, uh, where we've been making a large bed printer for ourselves. Uh, and we wanted something that was uh, almost 24 by 24 inches uh, where we could make a, a nice volume mm -hmm. uh, print and uh, we did the same thing. We created our own motor mounts yeah. for this material. Excellent. So that's a, that's a great example. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so it seems like this material has a little bit of a higher temperature range in terms of the, the printing. We did a lot of, of testing, as we usually do, to see what works best for this material. We found that a range of, of anywhere from 245 degrees up to 260 degrees Celsius worked well for this material. And uh, we ended up with a, a bed temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius, very similar to what we would do with a PLA. Um, and uh, we were using about a 20% fan speed on this. I used the old Magi Goo, the original formulation that gave us really good bed adhesion. Didn't need to use any kind of brim or raft when printing these things. They just stick really nicely to the glass with the Magi Goo. And then of course they release very easily once the bed cools. Uh, and we used a, a lower fan speed, about 20%, um, which you know is, is because of the TPU component. Uh, we used a, a bit less fan than we would for a standard PLA. And that gave us really nice print results. That's, that's terrific. I think one of the unique things about any kind of unique material that has a blend or, or that kind of stuff is when you can get it so that you're not having to worry about warping and you're not having to worry about um, sputtering at your nozzle or you're exactly. not having to worry about gooing up right. uh, or inconsistencies in the material yeah. and, and those are the try to, kinds of things that we're so proud of about especially this material is that it's so uniform when you print with it. It is, it really is. You know, we always advise our customers to watch their first layer or two really carefully to make sure they're getting good bed adhesion on those initial layers. But once those first couple layers have gone down well and you know that you're looking good, you know, for me, I'd say, you know, you're good to walk away from the printer and you get a very reliable uh, level of performance with this material. That's, that's terrific. And, you know, for all of our materials, but especially this one, we've uh, we've had long prints. People yeah. just you know put it on and walk away, yeah. and, and yeah. it's good. But I'm with you. Make sure that your first few layers are really good, because that's then right. that's the, that sets the foundation for everything else. Exactly right. Yeah. Well, so thanks for sharing some details with this. Uh, if you're interested in checking this material out further, please visit shop3duniverse.com to learn more or to pick up a spool, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for joining me today, Chris. Thanks, Jeremy.